Hello my friends, this is Tom Krcha, Platform Evangelist at Adobe. In the last tutorial I have shown you how to build super simple scene in 3D using Alternativa 3D platform. So uh, what else we can do with uh, this uh, simple scene? So right now we have the scene where is the box and the plane and the box is rotating on every frame. So what we can do here uh, as a next step can be adding the user interaction to actually rotate the cube using mouse. So it's pretty simple, let's have a look. So I just copy and paste the complete demo here and create a new class called Alternativa Demo 2. It's gonna extend Sprite as well. And uh, we just uh, copy and paste the code from the first demo to the second demo. And uh, we just launch it to see if it works. Perfect. And what we add here is mouse interaction. So we add three listeners on stage. One, one listener is going to be mouse down, which means that we click to the mouse. So we register on mouse down event. Then we register another event called mouse up, when mouse goes up. And also mouse move we also command rotation here and we gonna add these three handlers here like that I copy and paste it three times and just say on mouse down on mouse up and on mouse move we keep it. We also have to add three variables. One of them is going to be last x, which is going to be integer, and uh, last y. This is uh, what we actually use for calculating delta, which is the difference between the last uh, position of the mouse and the current position of the mouse. And we are also going to add a uh, variable which is called is dragging and uh, this will cause that we are going to turn uh, to rotate the cube only when we have the mouse down. So when we click the mouse down we say is dragging true and when the mouse goes up we just say is dragging false and uh, here we just say if dragging is actually false we return the function otherwise we continue. So right now we have defined three functions, uh, three handlers. So one of them is on mouse down, second one is on mouse up, and the third one is on mouse move. In the on mouse move handler, we actually do the actual rotation of the cube. So what we're gonna do here is that we define the delta variable, which is gonna contain the information of the difference of the mouse movement from the last position to the current position. So we say last x uh, minus uh, stage x, which is the current position. The same thing we do for uh, with, with the y position, so delta y, last uh, y, minus event stage uh, y, like that. And we also have to save uh, the current position to the last uh, x and so on, like that. So, the next, the next thing we have to do here is uh, to reflect the rotation on the cube. So we just write rotation z because we are going to rotate the cube on the z axis but we are going to use the uh, x uh, axis uh, from the actual mouse position. So what we are going to do here is that we actually add the delta change and we have to multiply it by my p divided by 180 to actually convert it to radians. So when we run the demo right now we can see that we are rotating the cube on the z axis but using the x axis from the mouse like that which is working pretty nice. The next thing we have to do here is uh, that we want to rotate also uh, the cube uh, like completely freely so we want to add uh, also rotation over the y axis so we just do the same thing for y delta y multiplied by mat p 
divided by 180. And when we look at it, we can actually see that I can rotate the cube, and I can also take it and rotate it like that. You can also see that there is some kind of lag here when I click somewhere else. This is caused uh, by the last x because it's not defined at the beginning and it keeps the position from the last rotation. So uh, on the mouse down we just say last x equals uh, event stage x and the same thing for the y position. Now it's going to be much better. The problem we are actually facing here, as you can see, I can rotate like that. I can rotate like that, but when I rotate it like that and rotate it like that, it turns over the different axes as I would expect. And uh, the only solution for this is actually to use uh, matrices. So uh, we just command this solution. It is a nice solution, but it doesn't work for us. So what we have to do here is uh, to actually change the mat uh, matrix of the box and append rotation on the matrix and reflect the rotation uh, on the scene. So uh, we define new variable called matrix. It's going to be instance of matrix 3D class and we just take the matrix from the box, the current matrix. And then we just say matrix append rotation. It will do all the calculations needed so we don't really have to understand matrices. This is nice about this class. And we just say that we want to append rotation delta x and we want to attend, uh, append this rotation on the z-axis, so we just uh, defined a new vector 0, 0, 001, which means that we are we want to rotate on the z-axis, and the uh, last thing we do here is uh, just appending the delta y rotation, and this is what we are going to uh, use on the on the z, uh, on, on the x-axis, uh, like that. The last thing, just changing the matrix on the box like that. When we launch it, we have actually working demo. The only thing here is that we just need to change the delta y uh, like that and voila, the cube is doing exactly what we want. Doesn't matter where we rotate and uh, so that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more what to do with 3D and so on, make sure you check my blog flashrealtime.com and thank you very much for watching.